Hey, and welcome back to Bourbon Blind, where the guys drink what y'all pick. So please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or email me at bourbonblindtasting at gmail.com. As always, the guys aren't going to know what they're drinking. They're going to tell you what they think of the whiskey in their glass based on flavor profile alone and not on the hype of the label. And then they're going to tell you how much they're willing to get that bottle into their bar. Tin cup. And I get to open a brand new bottle. It is going to be 84%, so not a real high one. Beautiful cork pop. So if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And if you love us, go ahead and head on over to Patreon. Now that I spilled whiskey all over the bar, I'm gonna go get the guys, see how they like this one. What's up everyone? Welcome back to Bourbon Blind. I'm Kyle. I am Nick. Nickaris and Kyle. So, you guys know what the deal is. We taste bourbon, no hype of the label. Give me a price tag, we'd be willing to pay for that bottle without that hype of the label. So, this one, little... A little light? Yeah, it's like not... A, like a straw? I don't want to say it's alarmingly light, but no. it's it's on the lighter side for sure. I get like a honey and a vanilla, but yeah, there's there's something right. Like there's something I don't know if it's not like a stringency, right? Which is the first word that came to my mind, right? But it's, it's in that realm, but it's not quite that. Like somewhere between astringent and baking spices. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it's that are astringent baking spices a thing? I I mean they could be. I don't know. That they're not. It's a free country, so you can do what you want. Fair. We're going to call it astringent baking spices. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what else to call that. Legs are running really quick. Pretty quick. Yeah. I don't have a ton of them, but the ones that have formed run quick. Like maybe some apples in there, but I'm, I'm not getting much else. It's like the LaCroix of apple. Right. It's, just been, it's been near an <laughs> apple at some point. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in. There's apples in the fridge, and that's what I'm smelling. Right. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go in. All right. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Oh. There's the apple. Yeah. And a little bit of baking spices. Just a little bit of sweetness. Vanilla. No real caramel. Mm -mm. No, nothing nothing that dark. No. It's not like that light Walmart honey, not like local, like fresh out of the beehive honey. Right. Right. Like, and it's not, it's got that same like astringent, but, astringent not, baking but, but not astringent, but it, but it is. Like, I don't know, I don't know how else to classify that. Nothing I've ever smelled before. I have nothing to associate it with. <laughs> like... <laughs> real hard to put my finger on but but it's there like it's definitely there it's not like a chemical no flavor or anything but no but like it's not this but the thing that comes to mind is pledge i don't know why that's all you man i i've never tasted pledge but just somewhere in your brain there's a connection there's there's a connection <laughs> it's yeah it's it's just kind of meh it's there. It's it's just there. It's a great mixer. Mm. I don't even know if I'd call that a couch pour. Mm -mm. Like, I don't because I don't think I would want a whole big giant glass of it. Mm -mm. Like, fin yeah, the finish is longer <laughs> than I expected. I'd say short to medium. You said longer than I expected. <laughs> fair, fair. Um. I, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. Like, it doesn't like give like a nice coating in your mouth. It doesn't. No, it's, it doesn't do a lot of things. I'm, I'm just douse some water in here. I'll, I'll, I'll try a little bit. I wasn't gonna do that much. Oh. There you go. Just see what that does, man. Because 
I, I got nothing else. Like, there's... It's... So I figured out the apple. Mm -hmm. You know, like, those fried apple pies you'd get, like, in individual boxes? Right. Like, the way those smell? That's, that's the apple. Fair. Like that little bit of baking mm. kind of... Yeah. I don't want to say fake apple, but that like sugary apple right. like so with the water it literally just killed everything yeah i was gonna say the nose is just there's well, nothing there it's, like <laughs> it's the air i'm just breathing and when when you taste it like there's literally just nothing there um, if it wasn't for the vaguest hint of ethanol on the nose, I wouldn't know that I wasn't smelling water. It could almost be like a really light Canadian whiskey. You know what I mean? With like, the water? Yeah. With the water, there's like the, it picks up a little bit of ethanol, but there's literally I mean, nothing I mean, it's, there. It's real, <laughs> real vague. Um, yeah, I'm just... Like Canadian mist on ice is what it's... Like Canadian mist mixed with Sprite. Right, like it's... You do kind of get that little, like, little bit of like fizzy yeah. fizzy tingle, but... I'm not there sorry, right. guys. I got not a whole lot with this one. <laughs> we can go back to the original. At least it had something in there. So now that I go back to it, I get dry erase marker. <laughs> That's pleasant. What I got. It's right. it's like that, like the scented dry erase markers. Mm -hmm. That's what mm -hmm. I get. You That's... lost you lost me on the dry erase marker until you said that. Then I was like, ah, right, <laughs> like the scent, like an apple dry erase, or marker. like a like a cherry, right, or strawberry, st strawberry scented marker. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, I got my price. I'm in this no more than like 15, 20 bucks. Yeah, I was like 10, 15. It, it's not offensive. It's, it's not just offensive. Not it's just it's real. Just like the dry erase marker. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's real bland. Yeah, like there's just nothing, there's nothing going on. So, it, it is the white bread, crustless white bread of bourbon whiskey. Right, I'm doing this one. Have at it, sir. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Tin cup. I think it goes that way. Okay. So. Sorry, Jess Graber. Yeah. It does come with a cool tin cup. And it is metal. That you could use um, to... Make that disappear. Nice cork. Synthetic cork. Which I have no problem with, for the record. Um, yeah, I'm... That's more than 15 bucks. Yeah, I, I think this is, uh, what, 30, 35 bucks? Yep. Something like that. Roughly twice what it should be. To us. To us. Cut sure. with Rocky Mountain water. Uh, I Honestly, I don't know a whole lot about this, guys. Yeah. Cut with... In my opinion, what might be a bit too much Rocky Mountain water? It's a cool looking bottle. So, uh, tin cup, it says whiskey is a blend of two great American whiskeys, each with a number three char, which is, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, Oak Barrel's High Rye Bourbon, distilled and aged in Indiana, so MGP, uh, is blended with a small amount of Colorado single malt whiskey, and then uh, filtered with Rocky, or cut with Rocky Mountain water. So, there you go. There's, there's tin cup. It is 42%. Yeah. 84 proof. So, balled out of Denver, Colorado. I think I'd like to see that at like 100 proof. Yeah, just something. Right. I'd, I'd like to see what less water in the bottling process would do to that. Yeah, because there wasn't a whole lot on it. When we added water to it, there was nothing, nothing left. Nothing. nothing left. Mind you, we are not using Rocky Mountain water. True. 
There could be something to that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I yeah, like I would love to see what this would do, even even with the blend, like not necessarily a single barrel, but right. you know, what I mean, like a smaller batch, higher proof, something sure. kind of offering would do yeah. with that because. Like we said, there's there's not a whole lot wrong with it. It's just not. Yeah. Uh, you put that over some ice. Someone who's not into bourbon could probably plow, yeah plow through that just bottle. plow through it. <laughs> so it's a, yeah. It's not technically a bourbon, is it? No, uh, it's, it's not. Just an American whiskey. It's blended with a single malt whiskey. Yeah. So technically, it's not no longer a bourbon at that point. Right. But I mean. Hey, it's it is what it is. It's not offensive. No, nice hot summer day, and all over some ice. And you're outside, you know, yeah. working or whatever. Sure. I just not that you should work with power tools and drink whiskey, but you know, for those of you that make bad decisions like we do, <laughs> I'm not afraid to ride the mower with a glass of whiskey. We are in Lincoln County. <laughs> Welcome to it. Right. So yeah, not uh, not anything to write home about. Yeah, feel free to hit that like button, smash it if you so desire. Uh, if you don't like what you see, hit the dislike button twice. And um, until next time, next week, Friday noon central. Cheers, drink blind, drink something.